ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सर अभिजीत कंडक्टिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर डॉन बॉस्को हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल कॉकरेजर क्लास टेन सब्जेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी आर इन स्प्रेड शीट वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट स्प्रेड शीट एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग and uh, uh, you are doing great your attendance is very nice i can check through my youtube channel that your attendance is really very good still some are left i don't want to make it open to the public that those who have not how many of you have not taken the lesson still so i don't want to make it to the public make it available to the public kindly take it i just request please take it so in the next lesson it is uh, set page breaks page breaks so so you see in microsoft word page page breaks are very easy to find you see this is microsoft word this is the first page and i just press enter and i go to the next page and you see this is the first page and this is the second page and between these two page there is a page break can you see this line this blue line yeah this is the page break here in microsoft word very easy to find and we know that uh, where is the break or very easily it is very easy to find in microsoft word the page break now in microsoft excel also page breaks are there but how do you find that now let's learn that how to see page break in microsoft excel that uh, i have created this spreadsheet now how to see that really page breaks are there or not fine so to see the page break what i have to do i have to i have to click on the view tab i i may be there in any tab okay but to see the page break i have to go in the view tab just click in view tab and in view tab uh, in the workbook view groups this this all this all okay can you see the workbook views groups so here there is a option called page break preview just click here and you can see yes you can see the page break you can see the page break in this way you can see the page break you can see this is page 1 this is page 2 this is page 3 this is page 4 so you can see the page break like this okay now you can also you can also add a page break as per your you know uh as per your uh, requirement you can add a page break as per your requirement like suppose i can add a page break here exactly in this place i can add a page break so how it can be done let's see okay let's go to page layout tab page layout tab uh, another thing it is very important for you all that knowing this tabs mm, in details is very important for you all because questions will come like that questions you can expect this types of question that what are the menus available in which tabs suppose uh, name some menus available in the home tab or name some menus available in the page layout tabs so this types of question may come so it is very important that you uh, know this menu and the sub menus in details properly and it is very good if you can write it down and make a flow chart and make a flow chart you can write it down in a chart paper and hang it somewhere in your, in, the, in the in the corner of any of uh, of your room so that you can see it and you can uh, memorize it you can remember it for long okay so this is vocational education my dear students vocational education means not for only passing the examination vocational education will help you to lead your life in future very important thing i am saying you today vocational education will help you to lead your life in future let's add a page break here let's just let add a page break so can you see this break option break option the first option you can see insert page break so i have clicked insert page break and you see a blue color page break has come here a blue color page break has come here now let's remove it how to remove it again go to just select that row select that row and click in break and remove remove page break in this way i can 
remove the page break and I can add the page break I can add the page break I can uh, delete the page break as well as I can also I can also move a page break like suppose here I have moved the page break okay I have moved the page break in this way I can move the page break and uh, the page break that I have inserted here that also I can move fine this page break also I can move from one position to another position just by dragging the fill handle just by dragging the fill handle you can move the page breaks there is a page break here this also I can move okay this also I can move so like this and okay now this is the page break view now how do I return to the normal view just go to view tab again and click in normal go to view tab again and click in normal to go to the normal view okay now my dear students very important thing is that uh, in every machine in every machine this feature may not be uh, this feature may not be automatically uh, set this feature may not be automatic set automatically set in some machine in some uh, in some uh, pc uh, you have to set it manually before you uh, move the before you try to move the page break okay otherwise it may not happen so for doing that what you have to do just click in this option just click in this menu and then take the excel option can you see the excel option here here yeah excel option and go to advance and after going to advance just take this number one two three number three option just check this option you see in my machine it is automatically checked or it is checked from before just check these two option it is given enable fill handle and cell drag and drop okay just check these two option and click okay and then you can easily move the page break from one place to another place uh, for now you may feel like these things are useless for you but a time will come in your life you will remember me and you will remember my video lectures it may not be today it may be after one year when you write the examination that time or maybe after 10 years when you work as a professional that time you will remember my video lectures but that time also my youtube channel will be there and my video lectures also will be there so it is very important that do not wait for one year and do not wait for 10 years to take my video lecture seriously take the video lecture seriously from today onwards from today onwards if you have taken it seriously from before i know some of you are you have given beautiful comments so very nice it means you are you are observing you are following the videos you are taking the lessons properly so take it seriously from today onwards thank you and let's come to the normal view now click here and click in normal and you see this is the normal view so in session 4 we have all this now in session 5 uh, in session 5 it is uh, setting margins setting margins if we go to page layout if we go to page layout so from here if I click here there are several various types of margin I can set the margins from here I can set the margin from here okay as well as the orientation as well as the orientation orientation one is portrait one is landscape if I click in landscape from here you will not understand the portrait and landscape if I go here and from the print and the, from the print print preview you will understand the portrait and the landscape so I will just close this I will just close this I will go to orientation and I will click in landscape I will go to print and print preview you see how the page has come can you see how the page has come please see this is the next page and this is the next page okay you can see if you zoom here if you zoom here if you zoom here this is page number three this is page number three this is next page page number four okay previous page page number one two so this is the way you can understand the orientation so i'll take it back to the portrait and i will again show you let me check yeah let me again show you how it is looking so now you see how it is looking i'll just zoom out and you see how it is looking now so that is the portrait and the landscape orientations okay now mm, 
yeah that's fine 